Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 15 Monaco career mode. Now guys, firstly I want to apologise for not posting over the last two days, I can't explain and it's not excuses guys, but Monday I did have the Liverpool versus Bournemouth match. The maddest thing happened, I got to meet Firmino again, I got to see Coutinho, Danny Ings, Moreno, it was absolutely amazing, it was such a good night, if any of you don't follow me on Twitter, it's in the description down below, I would highly recommend you go and check out the photos that I uploaded. I got put up in the footballer's suite where we got to have some food, some cake, I got to sit down, I could see a couple of footballers, although we couldn't join them as such, I got to sit down with a friend from work, we had a couple of drinks, we spoke to a couple of footballers as they passed us, but it was absolutely incredible, so that's the reason I didn't post Monday, and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, yesterday I came home from work at like 5 o'clock, lied on my bed, got on my Twitter, having a look on my phone, bang, fell asleep, next you know, wake up, it's half 11 at night, I don't know if it was the 24 hour, I'm not going to make excuses, but whether it was because of games for 24 hours, whether I was out late at the Liverpool match, something just took it out of me and I just slept all the way through, woke up at half 11, went to the toilet, come back to bed and slept all the way through till it was time to get up from work. So I really don't know what was going on me, I think realistically time's just caused up with me and obviously having the late night over the weekend, not sleeping much on the Sunday and then the Monday night I was at the Bournemouth game, I didn't get home till around half 11 or something, so... Pretty much they're the reasons guys, they're not excuses, they are just the straight up truth and to be honest, Liverpool didn't play very well against Bournemouth, I was really disappointed. We managed to get the 1-0, which technically shouldn't have been 1-0 because the new offside rule shouldn't count now if a player's offside and we scored a goal, it doesn't matter if it's not that player or not, it shouldn't be allowed, so unfortunately Big Ben's goal should not have counted, but luckily for us it did. But it's just a bit of a worry considering next weekend we are up against the Gunners Arsenal, so hopefully... Brendan Rodgers can sort the team out and start getting things back in shape. But nevertheless, guys, if you do enjoy today's episode, make sure to smash that thumbs up for me. Make sure to drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. And let's get into today's episode. So, guys, you will know, as from last episode, we managed to sign a brilliant left mid. We sold Carrasco to Anfield. We sold him to Liverpool for £20 million. We then managed to sign Draxler for only £15 million. So, we sold an 80 rated age 21 was he 22 and we bought one back at exactly the same overall one year younger and we only had to pay 15 mil so we actually made 5 million profit on the left mid which was absolutely fabulous but I'm not one of those teams that's going to be like oh we're a profit team a bit like Liverpool have gone now let's buy a player like Suarez and sell him for a lot more Sterling Torres you know I'm not going to be one of them where I buy players like Cavani I realised I made up that I never sold him he's top goal scorer on 19 goals he's been absolutely fabulous and one of the things I want to cover guys which I'm really disappointed with and I didn't think this happened but I bought Draxler in the last episode I played him, but I only played him in the second half. The assistant manager then messaged us saying, listen, Draxler either needs to get played more or he needs to go out on loan. He's a top player. The thing that annoys me with that is realistically in football, when a new player comes in from a different league or a different team, the, the manager does not put them straight on the pitch and go, right, go, 90 minutes, do it. It just doesn't happen. If we look at Roberto Firmino, he's come from the German league. He's come to the BPL, right? Exactly the same as Draxler has, but unfortunately this time he's come to the... Liga and the French League. Now, I can't just put him straight into that league. You've got to get him ready. You've got to, you know, get him training for the right thing. I mean, the German League, the French League, and the BPL are completely different leagues. All different pace, all different ways of attacking. So you have to get Draxler used to the way you want to play him. But the assistant manager is on me case. So unfortunately, guys, I've had to put Draxler straight into the team today. And I say unfortunately because... I wish this game was a bit more realistic. You've got to give them time to gel with the new players. They have to bond. They have to work out what's what. But the assistant manager's on my case. I'm not going to have a moan. And I did say to Draxley he'd be first team. Which he is going to be first team. I was just going to try and, you know, induce him into the team slowly and get him ready for it. But as you can see, we've got him playing left mid today. we got Cavani up top. Draxler at left mid, Jean Martino at central attacking midfielder, Daira at right mid. We then got Tulalan and Kondogbi as the central defensive midfielders, with Kazawa, Congolo, Abdenor, Fabinho at the back with the main man Subasic in goal. Today's episode is going to include Yuan Gamp, who we're going to be playing against, followed by the simulated match of. Montpellier, which is going to be a pretty difficult one, guys. I hate playing against Montpellier, especially when we simulate. I think we simulated them last time, and I think we actually lost. But hopefully, we can pick up the points today in both games. Three points, and we can keep us on top of our game, because we are absolutely smashing it at the moment. But we just don't know what's to come. So, fingers crossed, we can gather those three points up first. 
Here we go, boys and girls. Hello and welcome to League Court League Lane, League Yuan Gump's home. They are hosting Monaco. AS Monaco. The EA Yuan Gump. The this should be a pretty decent game, this, to be honest. Then he's a third. Oh, yeah, commentators just said there. Yuan Gump, a the third position. So if we could win this, that would be absolutely incredible. We'd be knocking them down the table and start gaining points on the top three. Come on, get it out, get it out, get it out. Bang. Well done. Come on, Cavani, pick it up. Nice. Referee. Come on, Draxler. Oh, he's injured him. Come on, Draxler. Keep going, son. He's injured him. I don't believe that. Hold it up, hold it up. Has Cavani gone down with a bad injury? Is he going to get up and run it off? Come on, we're on the break here. Go and play that, Fabinho. Lovely ball up to Condogbia. Come on, nice little ball in. Draxler. Oh, Van Draxler's gone with an overhead kick for his first shot of the game. For his debut, he's gone for an overhead kick, and that was not a bad shot. Well done, Cavani. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Cavani. Keep running. I know you haven't got much pace. Just keep running, though. He's got hold of his shirt. Come on. Good ball in. Jean Martinio. Oh, lucky. Where was Draxler? Come in, Draxler. Dyra. Whip a ball in. Draxler back post. Oh, Draxler's nearly scored on his debut. He's hit the bar. Oh, that is unbelievable. That is absolutely fabulous. Well done, Draxler. It's a shame you didn't score there, to be honest. You fully deserved it. And Draxler is the only man to have had two shots so far. Well done, Congolan. Play it. Come on, Cavani. Cut it. Cut it. Lay it off. Jean Matinho. Oh, unlucky. Chase it down. We are absolutely all over you, Angam. How have we not scored, lads? Took a little deflection there. Come on, Congolo. Force him out wide. That's nice. Force him out wide again. Ball's come in. No. Oh, good save. Good save indeed. Come on, keeper. Well done, Subasic. Big throwing out now. That's one thing I'm noticing with Draxler. He hasn't got as much pace as I thought he had. I'm going to be honest there. I feel like he's he's more of a player that he's going to hold it up well. He's not like a Hazard or a Royce. He's, he's more of like a Cavani. He ain't got a lot of pace. He's got a decent strength on him, but he's kind of like a, a Pogba on that left wing. Sorry, guys. He's got the hiccups there. Right, am I going to make any changes? I don't think so. I think the team's playing pretty decent so far. They've had more shots and shots on target, but I feel ours have been a lot closer. They've been a lot more, a lot more dangerous, really. We've been getting into a lot more dangerous areas than what I think they have been. I think we've had a, a few good, decent chances. Win it. Well done. Jean Martinio. Cavani. Come on, Cavani. Get through. Come on, Cavani. You're through. Finish it. Edison Cavani! Boom! There we go, lads. 49th minute and Cavani has managed to get through their defence. Pretty much hit the post. Could have gone out off the post. Could have went off the post. 20 goals in Liga on now. Come on. Use the strength, boys. Use your strength. No. No. Good save. Come on again. And again. Good save, Subasic. Me defenders were down. I slid in with them. That's what I'm looking forward to for FIFA 16. If you start sliding, you can suddenly get out of it pretty quick and stand up. My players were down and out then, like they've been RKO'd out of nowhere. Keeper, keeper. Well done. I'll have to check on everyone's energy in a minute. Oh, that was silly. Abdenor. Abdenor. Good save. Get it out. Abdenor, you've given them it back. What a save. Oh, my word. Subasic is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. What a double save he made there. Now I'm glad I never sold them to PSG for 30 million or whatever they offered. Come on, keeper. Look at him. Look at him. Would you just look at that? Come on, Cavani. You can keep that in, man. Come on. Right, let's make some changes. The team seems... Oh, there is. There's a few t players that are tied there. Condogbia is knackered. I'll take him off and bring on... Traore? Yeah, let's bring on Traore. Let's get Cavani off the goal scorer for Marty. I'll give him a bit of a run around. And I think I'll leave it for now. But I might possibly take Draxler off for Firmino. Or da no, I'm going to take Daira off for Firmino. He's pretty tired, Daira, on that right wing or right mid. Here we go. Let's get back into this. Come on. We need the fresh legs on. In the closing minutes. Only seven. He's offside. He's offside, ref. Thank you, new lads, for coming on. Happy days. Claps all around here for the boys that are going off. They've been absolutely fabulous. Goodbye, Cavani. Goodbye, Condogbia. Goodbye, Daira. You have been amazing. Come on, nice little pass out. Here we go, Congolo. Yes, here we go. Firmino. Come on, Martial, let's go. Come on, Martial. Come on, you got the pace. You got the pace, son. You got the pace. Finesse round them. 
Oh, it's a huge save by Samsa. Or Samasa. Samasa, I think his name is. Come on, Jean Martino. Go with a little whip in. Firmino! Oh, unlucky. Martial! Oh, huge block. Play it. Like it. Come on, pick him out. Lovely ball. Come on, Martial. Here we go. Far side. Tulalam! Oh, and it's just over from Tulalam. And someone's pulled a muscle there. I'm not sure who all. it was. Is it our player? Is it theirs? But Tulalam, what a strike. Inches from the bar. Absolutely inches. Come on, Martial. Marco. Oh, it's their player. Lamartre is injured. He's got a hamstring problem. Win that. Well done. Straight out to Drax. And happy days, lads. Drax has made his debut. First 50 odd minutes, I was really pleased with him. He played very well. There he is, the main man, Draxler. Really impressed with him. But when it gets to the last maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, he seemed to be off a little bit. He didn't seem to want to get in the game as much. But again, look at the stats. Eight shots, three on target. They pretty much deserve to probably get a goal back, to be honest. But our keeper was on fire, and I'm pretty sure he got man of the match. Yeah, he did. Super City on an 8.7. Fully deserved. And the goal scorer Cavani getting a 7.2. Only drawing though was Jean Martinho. So I'm just happy Cavani got another goal. He's now got 20 goals. And pretty much we've still got like a quarter to go in this season. So there's well and true that he could get over 25 goals plus, And that's exactly what I said when I signed him. The signing for 32.5 million of Berbatov. I want more than 25 goals out of him. I think we are easily going to get that. So I'm going to advance all the way now to the next match against Montpellier. Bernardo Silva said thanks boss, I'm pretty sure that's about the amount of game time he's getting, let's have a quick look here, delete that, Bernardo Silva, thanks boss, thanks for putting me back into the team, I don't mind missing the occasional game, but really I need to play or I just can't be at the club, not a problem Silva, you've been playing pretty decent for us and because you said that as well I'm going to bring you into today's game, so I'm going to drop Dyra for Silva, where is he, is he not, he's not even on the bench for the L. and then what I would do is I would take... Actually, no, Dara can stay in the uh, reserves this game. I don't think we'll need him too much. So I'm going to play Cavani up front, Draxler, Jean Martino, and Silva in the central attacking midfield roles. Then I've got Congolo and Tulalan at the central defensive midfielders. I'm going to drop Kazawa for Ikeo, just so Ikeo can get a bit of playtime. So I've got Ikeo, Congolo, Abdenor, Fabinho at the back, and the main fella, Subasic, smashing it out, boys. Can't believe some of the saves he pulled off. Four or five brilliant saves, one after the other. He is just a beast. I'm glad I never sold him now. And here we go. We are at home to Montpellier. Hopefully we can pick up the win. Let's see what goes down, lads. Come on, let's play his warming up. Let's get kicked off. Come on. We got this, boys. Come on. Play his warming up. And here we go. Five minutes in. Nothing so far. Ten minutes in and abdenor has been given a yellow card. Come on, Abdenor. Fabinho's injured, Tulalan manages to pick up the first goal in 22nd, Jean Martinho picks up the second goal in the 30th minute, come on lads, half time's just gone, Fabinho's injured, I'm worried about that, is he going to be okay, fingers crossed, Cavani manages to get the third in the 61st minute, Ikeo's been sent off after getting a yellow in the 57th, and then 10 minutes later he picks up another yellow card, Worthrich picks up a goal in the 80th minute, and Draxler, boom! Manages to score his first goal, even though it's simulated and I never got to see it. Julian Draxler picking up the last goal to finish it off 4-1 in the 83rd minute. Ekale, I'm not happy with you. I can't believe that. 57th minute, you get a yellow. And like 11 minutes later, you get your second yellow and get red card. I brought you in to give you a bit of a chance. But the problem is now is I'm hoping Fabinho is not injured for too long. Let's have a quick look at this. Let's go down to the bottom first. Right, so player suspended. EK has picked up a ma one match ban. That's not a problem. Player injured. Fabinho has picked up a medial collateral ligament. Medial, medial collateral ligament, and will be out for two months. Are you mad? Oh my word, that is not good news at all, lads. We are going to have to hope that the medical team can do everything they can to get him back before those two months are up. That is shocking. Oh no, AS Monaco board, subject about your performance. Brad, on behalf of the board, I want to acknowledge all the work and dedication we have seen you bring to the club. We know you've had lots of pressure and speculation from the press, and we want to reassure you that we are behind We are behind you to carry forward the AS Monaco legacy. Good luck, chairman of the board of directors. Happy days, lad. The directors... 
or made up with me. I am absolutely amazed with that. Thank you very much. Simone Scuffett, my role at the club. Oh no. I was expecting a bigger role at the club as, I, as was offered to me when I signed for you. So far, I have not been given the chance to perform that role. Oh, we're going to have to bring Scuffett into the team, lads, otherwise he's going to want to leave. Should have put him out on loan in the transfer window that's just gone, but I completely forgot to. Oh, never mind. What we will do is, guys... Is we're going to have to switch this team up quite a bit. Fabinho is out for a while now, so we're going to have to bring him in. Luckily, Jose Corre can play in that position. And we will then drop Fabinho for Dyra. Let's hope none of our other players pick up an injury, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Ikeo's got one match bound, we'll drop him for Raggy. And I'm pretty sure, in fact... With a game in yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll bring Dyra in for Draxler. I think I'll drop him for the next game. But I'm not going to play another game now, guys. I am going to wait till the next episode to play the next one. But I think Draxler played pretty well over those two games, so I can drop him and maybe bring him on after half time. But nevertheless, guys, we are top. Played 25 on 52 points. Still with around 13 games to go. We're absolutely smashing it. We are currently six points ahead of PSG, six points ahead of Toulouse. 7 points ahead of Marseille and 8 points ahead of Bordeaux. So happy days. What an excellent win or two wins that we can finish today's episode on. Top goal scorers Cavani with 21. Eber on 11. Worth Rich with 10. I mean, he's only just scored that 10th goal against us as well. So happy days. So we're top of the league. We've got the top goal scorer. We might even have the top assister. It is just fabulous. It's really looking good for us at the moment, guys. But if you haven't enjoyed today's episode, smash that thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. If you are new around here, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, your family. Share it everywhere, guys. If you're enjoying it, make sure you let other people know. You know, come and check out this YouTuber. See what you think of his FIFA career modes and how he does his commentaries and whatnot. But anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for. I have been Massive Brad. Peace out.